welcome once again to the channel Sakitech channel now today this is a, a very basic 2d drawing the exercise number two four where we left off this is number two four the card drawing basic 2d drawing now if today is your first time of joining the channel i recommend that you subscribe for you follow for the next updates we are going to do a lot here learn more about autocad and what you can use it for so we are dealing with the basics ones first okay let's get into it now this is what you are going to do today a very basic drawing but you have to pay more attention to it to understand certain things uh, when you have this you can see we have a polygon of six side in the middle and uh, we also have some circle and a square here this is a combination of polygons and geometry drawing so there's a square here and there are circles also here so it's very simple so when we start you get what i mean now let's start by drawing this bigger circle over here it's actually the center circle and this polygon six sided figure hexagon and then we will continue from there so we can see the radius of this bigger circle is actually 25 okay so let's draw that one first and then we start so you open your two card and uh, let's take our circle to radius so you can draw anywhere in the center now the radius is 25 so you enter 25 when it's very small you can zoom by using the command line type in z for zoom and you press enter when you press enter you see some commands added down here you can click on extent extend to become bigger then you reduce it to the actual size you want good now let's draw the six-sided figure hexagon this one you can see it's a six-sided figure but the dimension they've given us is from this flat side okay it's from this flat side which is 30 mm so let's see how you do that so select your polygon from this from the draw but then you select polygon and then you locate when you come you say enter number of side now it is six so you enter six first and then to ask you to specify center you want it to be here and now the polygon that you are drawing is it a circumscribe or inscribe now you take circumscribe about circle because you are drawing from the side and the circle diameter will be 30 radius will be 15 so you select this one and then we say specify radius of circle so the radius of the circle will be 15 we enter 15 good now there's what we have if you want to check if your drawing is correct you can go to the annotation tab click on this actually you can select from the linear click on the linear and click here and click here you can see you have your 30 good so we are good to go now let's try and draw this circle with a square over there now the dimension from the center here to this center is 35 and then the the dimension from the center to the top here is 20 so what we are going to do we are going to use line to draw 20 and 35 distance okay so just select the line command draw up 20 and you come this side 35 you enter this line will help us to draw these things it's just a helping line okay so let's draw the circle is having diameter of 25 circle if you want diameter you click here or you, you can enter D and it's 25 so we have it we have a square now the square is having one side all the four sides are 10 so you just take the square select this rectangle now here you can draw anywhere take dimension now you enter say specify length length you want 10 so you can press enter it's already there now specify width width is also 10 so you just press 10 then you have it you click now after that you can move it so you select it and then you can press m 
for move shortcut m for move to ask you to select the base point midpoint put it there so we are done with the top one let's try and get this one here the dimension from this side to this side is 25 and down is 30 no down is uh, yes 30 so we can go 25 30 with the line let's take the line command go down let's see 25 so let's go this way 25 and down is 30 30 enter so you'll be having it like this now there are two circles radius 10 and 25 that's diameter sorry diameter 10 and 25 so let's select circle put it this diameter is 10 so let's circle again diameter 25 25 yeah 25 so now you have your now you can delete these lines it's not needed anymore you can delete them press delete good now there's an arc here 20 20 so let's take our tan tan radio circle click here click here 20 same thing here click here click here 20 it's already here so you can press enter good and there is a line tangent to this and this this bigger circle and this bigger one so you just select your line command you press and hold your shift key you right click select tangent click here press and hold shift key right click select tangent click here the same thing select line command press hold shift key click tangent the same thing here click. good so now if you watch we are almost done let's trim the unwanted lines we don't need this don't need this as well i think yeah we are almost done with what you expected or what is expected from us now if you want to make it nicer you can click on this line with let it become bigger now let's try and dimension our work this time around i want us to dimension the work now let's create a layer to create a layer just go to the layer properties click new and give it a name let's call it dim okay dim let's change the color let's choose uh, this green color here okay let's try and let's close it so now we select that layer make it active and let's try and dimension so let's start from the circle no oh. select this one diameter 25 okay we'll change the line width so don't worry click on this one as well diameter and then this okay let's try and change the line width bring it to 0 0.5 okay I think that's fine now let's take the radius so we take radius dimension this side this dimension here also Okay, then this one as well. Twenty-five. Okay, now I think we are done with the the diameters and the radius. So let's deal with the linear. The linear, that's the dimension from this side to the center. 
35 and then select again from this side to this side it's 25 now let's go this way linear this side to this side is 20 select again go this way, 30 okay so I think uh, is there anything left um, okay the square so you take the linear and then we dimension the square so yeah I think that's that's all for the for the way uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more videos and tutorials like this so if they have any question just leave it in the comment section below and then I will attend to it shortly. If you have anything to you can put it over there. I will make sure I attend to you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next